hey y'all good morning welcome back to my channel um hold on let me turn my tv down today is travel day and i am trying to get my last minute things waiting on my sister to come pick me up to take me to the airport uh i'm a little got a little sweater Oh, and it's leggings. Y'all ignore the floor because I'm telling you, this house look a train wreck. I don't like to leave like this, but yeah, got to. Anyway, I gotta put my charger in my bag, put my Apple Watch on. Uh, trying to think of all the stuff that I need to make sure that I get because y'all, I forget. I forget. Anyway, I just wanted to say good morning. Before I get this travel day started, um, yeah. I made it to the airport. I'm literally running because I never been this late. I hope y'all can hear me. I got on two masks, two. <laughs> and for shit. But anyway, I'm here running to my gate because it's like 650 something. And my plane board says 617. I'm never this late. <clears throat> Y'all remember this from me and the kids? Wow. Anyway, I'm nervous. This is my first time in a long time flying by myself. But, look I did there. And I can't breathe with all these masks on. So I'll check back in a little while. Yeah. I am hot with two masks on. I don't know what I was thinking. I just don't want to catch the wrong at all. And y'all these bad times. I am so tired. I was I literally kept waking up last night because I'm my body was like you gonna oversleep. And I did not oversleep. I just, I should have called my sister earlier then when I called her. So I think we can just start boarding now. Yeah, this is. So we do ask that you remain seated. Remain seated. We now board you in groups of 10 only, strictly down this window area here. We do have some round discs placed on the floor to help socially distance you, but again, remain seated till your group has been called. So go ahead and pull that boarding document out, familiarize yourself with your boarding position. It's open seating on all selfless flights, which means you can sit wherever you'd like. IDs go up, I do not need to see those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Now, Jesse, Jesse. Yes, he was. Drop it. Drop it. Good morning. 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 Good mor
like 60 some people on this flight and this flight holds 140 something. I got this hand. Hopefully this hand will roll to my heel. I don't want to see if I know about it. I don't know, I never get the one though. I don't want to see if I know about it. Anyhow, if I can wake up, oh, I'm so tired. I'm going to take a nap when I get there. Is the life vest underneath your seat? Remove the vest when told to do so by pulling the rest shoved over the container and remove the pouch. Remove the vest from the pouch as shown in the safety information card. Place the vest over your head, wrap the black strap around your waist, buckle it in front, and pull to tighten. Sit back, relax, enjoy yourself with us hospitality on this beautiful day as we cross a small portion of this great nation. And if I fell in camp, I'd give you a call further down the road. Hey y'all, I made it to my room. I'm in New Orleans. I'm here. It was not that bad traveling alone like the first time I traveled. I've only traveled alone twice. And this is my second time. The first time I was so nervous and scared and everything else. This time I wasn't that nervous and I'm just happy to be here. Happy to have my mask off. 
in this room because it was a lot. I had two masks on and a face shield. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys my room because this room is cute. When I tell you, this room right here is too cute. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all what the room look like and everything. And then I'm going to find me some food and something to drink because I'm hungry. Yeah, and I'm here. Let me give, let me real quickly give y'all a room tour. This is the residence and it's on, I think it's on St. Charles Street. I try to put the information if I can remember in the description box. But if you come in, there's a full like kitchenette. I haven't actually looked in the cabinets. They have all the stuff you need to cook. Like, who gonna cook in New Orleans? Um, anyway. But you got a refrigerator. It's not full size, but it's huge. You got a cooktop, dishwasher, microwave, um, dishes and stuff, sink, little counter area bar, and full-length mirror. Hey, y'all. Hey. And then you have like a desk, nice desk area. Oh, look at that. It's a like, good afternoon, Kylie. This is cool. It's almost like I've never stayed at Disney, but I've seen people be at Disney and the thing says their name. That's cool. Anyway, big, huge TV. I'm going to show you how to view last. So, bag and bag. Here's a couch. So, a little living room area. And then I have a, I think this is a, queen size this is a king size bed i got a king room this is super nice i'm step back so y'all can see it look how nice this is like the girl who picked this out she did that she gotta turn on lights i don't know where they are but she literally did that they even got more storage over here is this a closet shut up they even got a full out closet yes this is nice I always say I'm going to come in the room first and look at the stuff so that I can know what to tell y'all. But guess what? I never do it. Um, toilet, sink, vanity area. Look at this shower. This shower is nice. It's huge. There's no tub in here, but you can get like handicap or like accessible or something like that if you need it. Really nice. Um, I think they limit the amount of products due to COVID. There is, they did have a breakfast bar, but there's no breakfast bar due to COVID. Um, or they like had like a, a snack or something hour, cocktail hour, and they don't have it. And this is my view of the city. I'm on the 13th floor. And yeah, look at this man out here sunbathing. I want this in an apartment. Okay, full ass sun baby. Anyway, this room is nice and it's huge. I don't know if I can do it all this room by one person. But yeah, this room is very nice and it's very huge. I can see that right here. It's very huge and everything. Let me sit down for a second. Oh, I want to show y'all. Look at the back of my um. Look at the back of my shirt. Cute, 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 cute. I was trying to wear like a sweater because I knew it was going to be cold on flights and stuff like that. Um, I knew the weather here was nicer than it is in, in Birmingham. But, uh, oh, they got some popcorn in here too. I knew the weather here was nicer than it is in Birmingham. But I didn't know if it was going to be cold or not. I did wear a jacket. Um, I knew it was supposed to be like in the 70s and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm just finna try to find me some food. And the girls are now on the swamp tour. So while I uh, wait on them to get down the swamp tour, I'm just gonna um, find me something to eat because I'm hungry. I've been flying all day and I need some food. That's cute. I was just walking down the street by myself and found me some food. And I found myself. Okay, y'all. Um, so I just got back from my little walk. I went to this place called Mother's. It's kind of like a famous place. 
and it's been on Food Network everywhere. And so I'm going to see what Mother's is talking about because some people say it's good. Some people say it's not worth the hype, all of that. Um, but I got the roast beef sandwich because everybody said that the roast beef sandwich is good. But the roast beef sandwich is supposed to come with crazy. Oh, my God. I thought it, oh, here you go. It come with like this like meat, gravy, meat, whatever. And then I also got some um some gumbo. I don't know if this stuff can be good, nasty, whatever. But uh rough. We finna try it because I'm starving first off. You supposed to like dip your sandwich in this right here. Okay. It's good or whatever. Let me taste this alone. Without the sandwich. Because the weird part is the sandwich is cold. But this is hot. It's okay. We need some salt or something. And then I went to um Starbucks and got me a pink drink. Because I needed some drink. I didn't think about that while I was in there to get something to drink. And I saw Starbucks on my way back, so I got Starbucks. Let me try this gumbo and then I officially rate them whether I like this place or not. This is just chicken and sausage. I saw seafood, but they the ingredients they had way too much different type of seafood. I'm gonna taste just the gravy by itself. It's all right. It ain't the best I've ever had. This might, like my sister said, might just be hyped up by the people. Let me taste this sausage. There are big pieces of sausage in here too. But I just got a text from Edna. Asking that I want to go to Mardi Gras World. And I was like, yeah. I'm going to go to Mardi Gras World. I want to go to Mardi Gras World. Let me buy this sandwich alone. It's a cold sandwich. I don't understand. I should have got a shrimp po' boy. I'm trying to get what the people get. Okay, let's do it alone. I'm sorry, Mo. I need to finish watching TV, the inauguration stuff. I literally watched the whole inauguration. Oh, you can do Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO. I don't know if you have to sign into your account. YouTube. Y'all, I'm going to be watching my YouTube. Yes, come through. Come through, TV. I want to watch CNN. Do y'all got CNN? Because CNN is the only news station that I trust. Fox News, I'm boycotting them right now because I'm telling you, the stuff they say on Fox News, they should be ashamed, ashamed of they stuff that they can actually do and say stuff like this. Anyway, I'll come back later when I go somewhere and do something.